Hi all, this is Glockman1000, also known as Team Aloy on the Cast Blitz Forum. And what I'm going to be showing you today is a modification to the star sizing machine uh, that you can basically add air uh, to the loop pressure system to make it more efficient. And this is all done on the cheap with only one part that was custom made. A uh, little history on this star, it's over 50 years old. I'm the fourth owner of it. And yes, it looks like it's kind of banged up and abused, but it still works. You know, a testament to the reliability and uh, durability of the star sizing machines. Now, basically what this is, is a bolt-on setup for a uh, air regulator feed. Uh, basically what I have on this star is a Lyman heater base with a light dimmer switch as a Rio stat. I have a candy thermometer to regulate uh, and see what temperature I'm going at. Now, let's get down to the mod. Right here, I have the original star lube cap. And if you notice on the inside, it's been fitted with an O-ring, which you can get at any hardware store, like for a quarter or 40 cents, somewhere around there. And basically what it is, is this is the only modification done to the cap. You just put an O-ring on the inside. And right here on the top, the threads are 5 8 by 18. This is a 5 8 fine thread. Uh, in here on the top where the extractor and the plunger rod goes and uh, I have some other stuff here uh, these are my uh, custom top punch from Late Smith uh, Chris Smith on the uh, cast bullets form he makes these excellent star dies right there you can see that size 358 since I was sizing some 357's okay and I just you should put these in here Here's one thing you might want to use. This is basically, this is not electrical tape. Uh, it actually, it is, but it's what they call rubber splicing tape. This is what you usually wrap a large cable around with before you cover it with regular vinyl electrical tape. Uh, I use this because on the star, uh, anyone familiar with it knows that there is a uh, vent port for the, uh, to vent excess air inside the tube. What I basically did was wrapped it around with that rubber splicing tape, about two or three wraps, and then I use a hose clamp. It's a, I believe this is about, it reaches up to an inch and a quarter. So it's really snug. You know, it doesn't take up a lot of space. And it doesn't interfere with the motion of the star. Okay, now uh, we'll get down to what basically the modification is, which is this bolt. This is a 5 8 by 18 bolt. It was originally an inch and a half. And what we did was we bored it out on a lathe. And it's been chamfered. And this has been opened up here to accommodate the plunger on top. Then on the top, is a, it's been fitted with a quarter inch air fitting so we can hook up an air regulator to it. Now basically, let me go ahead and do a quick setup of how this looks. Uh, the star, it's, I just filled it up with a brand new uh, tube of lube. I'm using magma cast lube. It's kind of hard to see because it's down in there. I'm using the red hard lube. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the uh, plunger in. There we go, so right there, you can tell, it's still pretty full. So we're going to move the extractor slash plunger pressure uh, system. And what we're going to do is we'll put this on. Remember, we have, just have an O-ring in there. We'll go ahead and screw it down to on the star. And then you can feel the O-ring, it'll start to tighten up. And you don't have to over tighten it, just get to the point where it feels like it's nice and stable. And get this bolt right here. Oh, one thing about this bolt, it's been bored out. And also, uh, we there was a little lip here done by my friend Rudy Rapata. So he has a lathe and a milling machine, and he, we like to dabble with this kind of stuff. And he basically, he basically put an O-ring over this part of the, of the on the inside of the threads of the bolt. What that does, it also seals up the air underneath the bolt. So when you screw this in, it makes it airtight. You can also feel the O-ring tightening there. Now, here's where everything else comes into play. Uh, you fit an air regulator to it. This is purchased at Home Depot, but you can also, I'm pretty sure you can get this at like uh, the Harbor Freight for a lot cheaper price. Basically, most of the fittings, you can get the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, O-rings at any hardware store pretty much. And if you notice, it's ready on there. This is just for demonstration. This is a proof of concept. Uh, Frozone from the Cast Books Forum, he mentioned something about this and 
I decided we'll try and actually go for it and try it out. Um, right now, we've got uh, a few things. Uh, Frozone, he goes by the name of James Connell. So I'm using his uh, idea as a proof of concept. Now, what I want to do here is, this is not secured yet, but I want to go ahead and show what this can do. I've already preheated my base. It's got a brand new tube of, uh, or a brand new stick of uh, magma hard lube. And I'm going to go ahead and hook up some air to it so we can uh, go ahead and see how the system works. Okay, here we go. we got an air fitting on there. Uh, this is a temporary air fitting. I intend to put the multi-swivel type so I can get this hose out of the way so when you're sizing you don't run into much of a problem. Now the regulator helps you control air pressure of course. Let me get that up. We'll dial it up. There we go. So I've got it showing at about 30 pounds but we don't need that much since we're using a hard loop. And it's heated so I'm going to set it to about 20 pounds. Now here we go. I want to go ahead and show you that there is a little bit of loop coming out of there. Let's just push that out of the way and give you an idea. There we go. little worm here. Now, we've got a pressure to the system, so let's try it. And there you have it. Now, you have to remember, there was no pressure inside the tube until I added air. And that's and the uh, plunger, you saw me put it in. And I didn't even tighten this yet over here on this part here. I haven't tightened it yet, so I can tell I'm getting a good seal. And the vent port is not leaking, so I don't hear anything. And let's see. We'll just try it keep going if you notice over there see I'm getting a whole bunch of lube curled up in there there let's see and of course this is hard lube but it's really softened up enough so I can use some air pressure to push it so basically instead of using the uh, let's just crank that up give you an idea if we try and crank it we're just trying to maintain pressure in the loop cylinder system and that's basically what we're doing here so if you get I don't know if you can really see that that well but there is loop coming out of here so it's a constant pressure so if you need to this can be used so basically that's all it is it's just a modified 5 8 by 18 bolt fine thread it's cut uh, just to fit into the loop body here now let's say you need to change the loops well we just go ahead and disassemble it take off the air and go ahead and remove the regulator system. <clears throat> Put that aside. Then go ahead and mount your old your extractor slash plunger rod. Now it's basically just an extractor for me. I just use it for taking out the plunger when I need to refill lube. So let's get that out of there. And you nice hear that nice solid pop. So that means it was it was had a good seal. So basically that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm pretty sure that people that are interested in a system like this, uh, if you're probably to buy it at Home Depot, uh, you could get the regulator, which was like $16 at uh, Home Depot. This quarter inch fitting was like a buck ninety nine at Home Depot. And this swivel fitting was two twenty nine. So you're looking at about maybe $21 for these parts. The O-rings will cost you maybe about a buck and a half. That's about it. You could always modify it to suit your needs, but main thing that you need here is this bolt. And if you have a friend that can machine the bolt, uh, they he could probably you know it basically these are uh, they, the hard, the hardest thing to do is this just to get this bolt. I'm just glad that I have a friend that has a lathe and uh, he has a like a little machine shop in his place and he said he wanted to try it too. And I'm pretty sure when if he decides to get another star again, he'll probably do the same thing. So this is like a poor man's, uh, basically a poor man's budget uh, air pressure system for the star uh, loop sizers. Uh, that's about it. And if you have any questions, just leave uh, leave me a, a message, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right. Uh, have a everybody shoot safe and be careful when you're out there. See ya. Bye.